in a plush room at the swanky courthouse hotel in London's trendy Shoreditch, Eddie Hearn is discussing life at boxing's top table and a sport he refers to as a drug of a business. It's a very unforgiving business, he says. One minute you can be on top of the world, the next thing you're sitting at home pulling your hair out. But it is a drug of a business, you can't leave it alone. You can't take your eye off the ball, because people are always trying to finish you, ruin you, block you. And the problem is, if you switch off you can't be on top of your game. I'm very lucky to be in the job I'm in, because the highs are incredible. But then I use the Kubrat Pulev example, you get home from work, you're playing with your kids and you get a call to say, Pulev has pulled out of the fight against Anthony Joshua in 10 days time, and you've sold 80,000 tickets. It's not a normal job. Hearn took that call in and shy, October, but, in a canny move. Carlos Takem had been told to be ready for such an eventuality and the promotion was saved. Hearn added, four or five years ago I'd have dropped to my knees and been banging the floor saying, why me? But you realize it's just a game and you have to embrace it and you have to love it, and shy, because it is the sport and it's a terrible, terrible business. Hearn, 38, joined Matchroom Sport in 2000. 18 years after the company was launched by his dad, Barry. He started on the golf side of the company, then represented golfers on the PGA and European tours, and now, as group managing director, he is across a host of sports including the PDC Darts and World Snooker. But it is boxing with which Hearn is synonymous, with Joshua, Carl Frock and Tony Ballou among the big names in his stable. He said, my background is sports marketing. When I stopped doing the golf I saw the potential for online gaming and online poker, and started to create the TV events for poker. It was a huge boom time and we made a lot of money. I loved it, it was really quirky, you were dealing with all kinds of criminals. Like the boxing and shy, really, he adds, laughing. There were characters everywhere. Then I met Audley Harrison at the World Series of Poker, thought he'd be great for the Prize Fighters series, spanned him an idea to fight David Hay and we did it all. It went tee up, but after that my phone wouldn't stop. Darren Barker, Kel Brook, Carl Farrakh. They were my first three signings and before you knew it everyone said, wow, Matchroom or back in boxing. I was like, are we? They were and, since then, the younger Hearn has put on some memorable nights, most notably the record-breaking Wembley Stadium promotions of Frock Groves II and Joshua of Vladimir Klitschko. He says, growing up I was Barry Hearn's son. Now he gets people going up to him all the time saying, oh, you're Eddie Hearn's dad. We laugh about that. He comes from a Dagenham Council estate and, luckily for me, I was brought up in a very privileged situation. But my work ethic is the same as the kid off the Dagenham estate because my dad has put that into me. He calls me the silver spoon kid, and I always say, yeah. But I've turned it gold. I can't get the credit because I didn't start from nothing. I'd like to have done that. But the only way I can be a success is to take it to a completely different level than he did and I've done that in boxing. As I said, it's an unforgiving business and I don't intend to be in boxing forever. It will be hard to leave but at some point I'll look at it and decide. I don't know if it will be 3, 5 or 10 years, but whatever I do I can look back and say, wow, you changed the game.